Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about I went to a goat yoga event. And two weeks ago, my mom and I, of course, went to this event where you can just dress up as costumes while doing yoga with goats around. And yes, it's a real thing. It's not fake, I swear. I it, The thumbnail is just, it is as it is. So... The cost, I took, it took me a while to figure out what costume I wanted to, you know, dress up as because I wanted to find, my mom wanted me to find a costume that, you know, that is wearable to, you know, do yoga. So dresses and inflatable costumes aren't allowed. So I, after a long time of de decision making, I finally decided to dress up as Ken from the Barbie movie. And who says a girl can't be Ken? Like, Come on now. I mean, some girls can be Ken. I mean, it'd be really cool if Ken had a twin sister or a older, younger sister named Kendall. That'd be cool if Mattel made a, um, you know, Ken a sibling. You know, that'd be cool. Anyway, so my mom decided to be Barbie. She decided to be Barbie way before I decided to be Ken. She got like a wig. A little, actually, specifically, she specifically became Yoga Barbie not just Barbie, because you know, Barbie can be anything and so can Ken. So as we went to the event and there was a lot of people and I noticed that they weren't wearing any costumes, which was very disappointing. My mom and I were the only ones wearing costumes. And I, I felt such disappointment in me. And you know, the instructor said, hey, it makes all, it makes it all the better, you know? I thought the flyer said that we can just that everyone can wear costumes, but nope, it's just me and my mom. That's it. But the goats were really cute. We didn't do that much yoga because you know we did all we wanted to do was just play with the goats and take some good pictures, and I, and we did take some good pictures. I did I did the, some positions where um some goats would just get on top of me. You know, some instructors would carry treats for the goats into um for them to just get up on my back they would hold up a treat and the goat would just climb up on my back and two of them were able to climb up on my back and it hurt it hurt pretty bad well not as bad but it did hurt i was like wow they're pretty heavy they do hurt anyway they were really cute too my mom and i were able to hold some goats for a really cute picture that's what i used for the thumbnail and the goat i was holding his name was winston cutest little thing. <laughs> I love the costumes all those goats were wearing. It was really cute. Someone, a goat was being like a, was wearing a basketball jersey. Another was wearing a princess outfit. Another was a pizza, candy corn, all the cool costumes you could ever think of. All of them were, go all of the costumes were on the goats and they were just the cutest things. Thank God they didn't poop on me while I was trying to do yoga. Good Lord. I mean, Thank God they're not big. I mean, they're just tiny. Anyway, after my mom and I did the goat yoga thing for like, what, 30 minutes or so, the event ended and my mom and I decided to go eat as usual. And then after we went to go eat, I decided I wanted to go to Target. And this is the crazy part. I know this isn't, this is just part of the story. So when I was like in the book aisle trying to decide what other book I wanted to get, I noticed that a young boy was crying and the parent of the child was complaining. Was, um, the parent of the child was like, get over here right now. And the poor kid was crying. Maybe maybe he did something that what maybe he got into some trouble. I'm not sure. But as soon as the kid and the parent, you know, left the aisle, just before the parent was just about to leave the aisle, she muttered, God, I fucking hate kids. And I heard it all. I heard it all with my own two ears. And I'm thinking, what the fuck, lady? That is your child. I don't know if you're the mother, the aunt, or whoever you are. That is no way to speak to a child. I know she didn't say that in front of the kid, but it was to the point where I heard it all. And I'm like, geez, that's your kid. At least keep your thoughts to yourself and your say it in your own head. Don't say it where where witnesses could hear I was the only witness that heard it and I told my mom about it and she thought that was crazy too Whew, I'm still blown away by what that lady said like 
that's fucked up. Whoever, whoever like whispers that away from their kids and witnesses hear that, don't expect the witnesses to talk about it. Cause come on, that is fucked up. Or don't expect the witnesses to say anything about it. That is messed up. Like don't ever mutter that to where witnesses are around or mutter that to anybody. Even if you're straight up honest with them, that is freaking insane. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.